Hey everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our talk on Profile Manager. Now if you've remembered, I've done two previous uh, tutorials on Profile Manager. One on how to set up the service and then last week I did one on how to enroll your uh, Macs into the Profile Manager service itself so that you could manage those things. So those are more for the Macs and computers. Uh, and if you remember, we talked about um, what it looked like to manage those. So let me just uh, real quick, I'm going to pull up the Profile Manager screen. Again, you get that through uh, the website. In fact, if I just uh, put this down here, you get that by uh, clicking this Open Profile Manager right here right within the service and it'll bring up this screen that we've got right here. Uh, and as I showed you last time with the devices, I enrolled my uh, MacBook Pro into my Profile Manager service and I showed you how to do that. Well this week what I want to do is show you how to do the same thing with iOS devices and so I'm going to walk you through the process so that uh, when we're done we'll have added another iOS device here to our profile manager so that you'll understand how to do that yourself when you want to enroll those devices in your computer. So let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, here I am over on my iPhone and so I want to enroll uh, this iPhone into Profile Manager. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Safari. So just click Safari and you're going to want to go to your server's uh, web page. And so if you remember when I uh, showed you before, you're going to uh, basically put in in the um, browser window HTTPS, you got to make sure you have the S in there, it won't work. And then you put a colon with two backslashes and then your server's name. So server.example.com or whatever you've got with a backslash then of my devices. And I'll put that on the screen so you can see the format and what that's supposed to look like. Now once you do that, you'll be taken to your server screen and it will look like this uh, on your iOS device. So then what you're going to do is you're going to actually then log in uh, to your server to be able to manage this, get this device managed. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the next page. Okay, now once you're logged in, this is the page that you get. And as you can see uh, down below there, I've got my uh, MacBook Pro, which I showed you how to install on the last uh, tutorial that I did. And as, as you can see, we have the ability to lock or wipe uh, the computer remotely. I can even remove it from here if I don't want it to be managed anymore. And then you see at the top it says this iPhone. And so that allows me to uh, have the ability then to enroll this phone. Now, as I said before, the problem with it is is that in order to enroll this phone, I've got to trust my SSL certificate. Because I used a self-signed SSL certificate, I've got to do something a little bit extra to make sure that my phone knows that the server that it's connecting with is secure and it knows how to connect to that server so that it would so that it will uh, connect uh, securely and also accept what comes back and forth from it. So what you want to do is click the profiles tab at the top and you'll see we've got uh, we've got profiles and we've got devices and you'll see that we've got this trust po uh, profile for my uh, server here. So what I'm going to do is just click the install button there and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this install profile that says hey do you want to trust this server or not? Uh, do you want to make this installed? So I'm going to install it right here and it's going to say, hey, this is going to change some settings. I'll say, hey, that's fine. Install now. And so now I've got to enter my passcode because I've got a passcode on my particular um, iPhone. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can click done because the profile is installed and it'll take me right back to the website, which makes it really neat. Nice and simple uh, in, in order to set that up. Now, if I wanted to, I could do this settings for everyone. And if I show the contents, that's going to set, that would set up calendar, VPN, um, it'll set up my messages, contacts, all of those kinds of things, all the stuff that I have on the server. These are all server um, uh, services that I have live on my server. It will automatically install all of the settings for those things so that it makes sure that those things work on my phone. So this is a really neat way to be able to set up your iOS devices to make it work. Okay, so now, now what I, all I need to do now to get uh, this phone uh, enrolled is just click this enroll button. Now that I've got that set up, I'm going to enroll it. And again, it takes me right back to the profiles and says, hey, do you want to do this? And I'll say, yeah, I want to install it. It says, again, it's an unsigned profile. And I say, that's okay, because I know it's for me. And again, i got to put in my passcode. 
Okay, so now you can see it's generating the key, installing the profile, and then it gives me this. It says, hey, this is going to change settings on your profile. It's going to allow the administrator at the server to remotely manage your iPhone, which that's what we want. We want the ability to do that, and it could collect personal data and stuff like that. So this is kind of a warning thing that says, hey, you know, be sure that you want to do this. Since this is my phone, I know I'm sure I want to do it, so I just click install. And now it's enrolling the certificate. The profile now has been installed, and I can click done. Once I click done, it takes me back to uh, this screen here. And if I uh, refresh it, let's do that. It should eventually show, yep, there it is, it shows my iPhone. And so not only does it show my phone, it shows the serial number. And you'll notice now I have the ability to lock, wipe, or clear the passcode on my phone remotely right from the web interface. And so the great thing is because this is a web interface, I can do this from anywhere. I don't have to do it you know, just on my phone. I could be at my server or at any other computer, log into the My Devices portal, and go in here and basically lock, wipe, or clear the passcode on my phone remotely. And you can see that I can also remove uh, the phone whenever I want to do that as well. So that shows you how you set up your iOS devices. You use the same process for all of your phones, your iPods, for your iPads, uh, those kinds of things. You use the same process as this to get them enrolled. And once you've done that, uh, you're all set and ready to go. And, and like you saw before, again, if I just real quickly come back to these profiles, you can uh, also put your uh, settings for everyone in there or any, any, anything that you've set up on that. And it will install all of your services right on your device without you having to do anything. And so you can see how this this can be convenient even for your other users like kids in your family or whatever. You can have them go to the website on their phone, make the changes, and then install all of these things and then you know they've got on there what you want them to have. So that's all I have for this week on installing, uh, doing device enrollment for iOS devices. Hopefully that helps you get started in getting these devices into Profile Manager. Uh, let me just show you real quick here uh, on the actual uh, site here. Um, you'll notice now my iPhone is showing up here. You can see that my iPhone now is in my profile manager. It's ready for me to manage remotely. And so now that we've got these devices set up, uh, we can start to talk about the actual profile manager interface and start to talk about how we work with that. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.